my poodle is wired. My license expired. I'm under a doctor's care. My mind is a bus. I'm wearing a truss. I like Lonnie Anderson's hair. So tell me a joke. Or get me a coke. Or throw me a funny bone. I want to say, no, you can't stop me now. I've entered the twilight zone. I'm Zippy. Who are you? I'm Zippy. Zippy is... Is, uh, has been a, described as my alter ego many a time. But I don't think that's quite true. I think what Zippy is more like is uh, a part of me that went astray somewhere in the early 70s and took on a life of its own. And I just try to keep track of him and check in with him once in a while and um, watch him develop. Zippy doesn't accept shared reality. He doesn't know the difference between himself and the world. You know, Zip Zippy says Fred Astaire is his co-pilot. Fred Flintstone is God. I mean, uh, this is Zippy's cosmology, I guess. Laundromats are kind of like uh, temples for Zippy. They're kind of religious. They hold a lot of mystery, which I think is understandable, because if you look in the little round glass door of a washing machine long enough, eventually you'll see Jean-Paul Sartre in there. Zippy goes for foods because of their attractive packaging. And the second most important thing would be the preservative list on the back. And if you look beyond the simple entertainment crazy value of such things, you will see I am indeed in the tradition of satirists trying to uh, point out that the emperor has no clothes. I'm Zippy! Who are you? I'm Zippy! Am I almost done? No, not yet, Zippy. Keep Am I soaking wet? No, no, it's okay. You're dry. Am I having fun? Yes. Someone has to stand outside the whole thing and look at it and tell you what's going on. Um, it's a dirty job, but somebody has to do it.